Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a fabulous Tuesday. I apologize for not posting anything yesterday. I just didn't have a second for myself. So I'm back today. Hopefully you guys didn't miss me too much. But also I wanted to say that I slept with my makeup. So if it looks like shit, unblended, like what's wrong with your face? That is precisely why. <laughs> but then I'm like, whatever, it's fine. Anyways, for today's video, I wanted to share with you guys my top eight favorite beauty products for 2018, the drugstore version. So I already did this for like the high-end version. I'll leave that link down below if you guys want to watch that. But I feel like it's getting later in January and I wanted to get my ass to this because I didn't want it to be like the end of January and to be like, uh, yeah, no one's interested anymore, you know? <laughs> I compiled my eight products that I've been using a ton this past year in 2018. These products are available, of course, at Ulta and other retailers. I will leave the links down below if you guys want to pick up anything for yourselves. I'm going to be doing a top eight skincare as well and then a top eight TJ Maxx finds video too, so stay tuned for that. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Definitely let me know what your top eight drugstore products were for 2018 or even if you of a top two or three i have to know i have to know this information anyways let's go ahead and get started first off i had to mention this i've been mentioning this constantly in my videos but it's just love at first sight and love like forever like we have a very very strong relationship me and this powder this is the cover girl vitalist healthy powder and i have mine in the shade classic ivory we have already repurchased another one but here's how the powder looks this is a super nice very thin finely milled powder it adds a little bit of coverage but not a ton more translucent e, but kind of adds a little hint of color too, you know? Like if you just wear concealer and you want to just set everything in, this is a great powder to do it with. I find that this powder is very thin in consistency, lasts the whole day, keeps you matte if you want it to keep you matte, but if you have dry skin, it doesn't necessarily suck the day life out of your face, you know? So I feel like this would really work out for anyone. You guys can see, obsessed, like I'm not talking out of my ass over here. <laughs> I really enjoy using this to set my entire face of makeup, or sometimes if I'm going for a more natural look, I'll just dust a little bit of this on my face and it looks beautiful. So I find that it makes my makeup lasts a bit longer and it just looks really fresh and healthy on the skin so plus it really feels high-end too like they should sell this at sephora you know i don't know what ingredients they put in here but amazing and let me tell you i rarely rarely hit pan on products you guys know me i don't uh, but this is definitely one of them that i'm kind of like constantly like yes 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 you know it's just like a Second nature already, like I'm doing my makeup, all right, CoverGirl, where you at? You know, right here. So I love that so much if you guys are looking for a super solid powder amazing the next two things that i want to talk to you guys about are these covergirl concealers i swear this is not a covergirl video but i really do enjoy a ton of their stuff like as of lately some things i don't like you know but you guys have seen me use this concealer multiple times in my videos and i constantly mentioned it as well so i have this one right here which is almost on its last leg i think it has like two or three more uses you guys can see like nothing right and then this one right here is a new one but also i kind of use up a little bit this is a really nice I would say medium to almost full coverage concealer. I really enjoy this because I find that it's not drying for the under eye area. It blends out really beautifully. It creates a really nice light effect. It doesn't necessarily crease. It sets beautifully. Also with this powder, they go really well hand in hand together. Um, I do like this more than shape tape. That's just me. I really enjoy the first Aid Beauty Bendy Avocado Concealer as well. And I find that this is kind of similar. Not 100%, but like they're both up there for me. So if you're looking for a more affordable alternative, this is very, very nice. I really do like the applicator. You just twist it, you take a little bit, and then you apply it on the under eye area. It's really great to also conceal blemishes. So if you have blemishes, this does conceal really well. And it's not drying for the under eye area. Since I do have dry skin, I always look for more hydrating-ish um, concealers. And this one just does a really nice job. Another solid, amazing find. And I'm obsessed. <laughs> you could see. Okay, the next thing that I want to talk to you guys about is an eye shadow palette now i feel like for the drugstore a lot of times it's a huge miss even though now like a lot of brands are kind of releasing better things but for 2018 there wasn't one that i was like deadly over besides for this one so this was purchased on a whim for me and i used it consistently for a very long time and then i kind of stopped because you know other things came out the holidays was were here but then i was looking at my drawers i'm like which one like what was that palette you know and i wanted to include an eyeshadow palette in here because it's such an affordable or it's <laughs> because it's such an affordable alternative if you just don't have the money to spend on like a abh palette or like a Too Faced palette you know so anyways this is the wet and wild um not a basic peach eyeshadow palette i'm gonna put a picture up here of a look that i did with this palette and i'm obsessed with it first of all the mattes in here are everything and more i didn't hit pan on anything but i've used this transition shade a ton of times and then this orange is my life and my dream i do talk a lot about the persona eyeshadow palette which is this one right here which could be a bit pricey because it's a little bit more high end there's a shade in here called brick and literally i feel like this shade the orangey shade is kind of 
Similar to an extent, they kind of give the same vibe on the eyes if you don't want to spend money on this, even though it's amazing. And this is really nice if you're looking for like a warmer toned eyeshadow palette. The mattes in here are so freaking amazing. There were times that I just wore this shade here and you guys were like, oh my goodness, what do you have on my eyes? Swear, it was just that one. You know, I have a nice dip going on in there. This transition shade, also a very burnt, dirty orange like color. So pretty. I will say that the metallics are not like my favorite in this palette, but still they do perform very nicely. I have taken this with me like traveling away on weekends i'm always satisfied with the look like there wasn't one time that i used it and i'm like what the hell is this you know like just always happy simple fast easy no games being played style on the back here there's a little diagram of how you can use certain colors but um even this brown here like it looks like whoa you know and usually with deeper shades like they're hard to blend out this is not a pain in the ass let me just give you guys some swatches i love them i feel like the shades are just like perfectly pigmented like looks so beautiful the blue is not like intensely oh my goodness but if you spray with fix plus so nice just overall a really nicely curated palette and i find that these shades go really well hand in hand together with each other perfect for every single day so thin compact you could throw it in your purse and you get like literally 10 colors in here i think the formula of these palettes are really really nice i have other ones that i like from them like from this line but this one definitely took like the cake for me for this year so i really love this so much it's so amazing i promise you guys okay Moving on to the next thing, I'm not going to talk about this too much because I know you guys are like, shut up. Just shut up already, okay? And I'm kind of like to myself, okay, we get it, we get it. But if you're new to my channel, then you've never heard me speak about this. So I will talk about it for two seconds. <laughs> this is the CoverGirl Brow Pencil. It's what I have on my brows today. I slept with this, so this is how my brows look. They still look, I think, pretty damn good. This is the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. I get mine the shade Rich Brown. On one side, there's just a spoolie, and then on the other side, um... There's the actual bra product, which you guys can see I have a very little left. I've repurchased this multiple amount of times. I finished maybe like two or three of these last year, even more. I have a few of them like as backups in my drawer. It's just the best. It's literally just the best. It's not too waxy. It's not, it doesn't tug on your eye. It gives the illusion of like the feathery brow effect or you can definitely go very heavy with it if that's your style of brows. Um, what else? It just... It's so easy and fast, and I was never one who loved brow pencils. I actually hated them for the longest time. I used to only use pomades with a brush, always, like the ABH um, brow pomade, right? Then I discovered the ABH brow pencil, and I'm like, okay, I'm really, really liking that. this. I love that brow pencil, but it can get pretty pricey. And then when I discovered this, I'm like, no, there's no way. Literally seven, six, seven bucks at the drugstore. Sometimes you can get these for buy one, get one half off. What did I put in there? It's like literally an addiction, just like drugs. Um, so I'm obsessed with that. So I definitely recommend that. It's been one that I've been just in love with. Um, you guys know, I always talk about it. Okay, moving on to the next product that made it for me in 2018. This is the Essence Extreme Lasting Eyeliner. It's just the black one. They have this in multiple different shades. I definitely want to do a like top favorite of Essence video so you guys can see what I love from the brand because I do feel like there's a lot of hits it hits hits is there's a lot of hits but a lot of misses as well you know um anyway this is an amazing like come on come on I don't even have to talk actually it's actually what I have in my waterline again I slept like this so it doesn't look the best so what am I even saying then um but this is super black, extremely creamy, kind of reminds me of like the Marc Jacobs highliner eyeliner pencils or the Urban Decay eyeliner in perversion. Even though I do love those and don't get me wrong, I do use them. I enjoy them if I want to like use something more high end. But for an affordable drugstore option, this is where it's at. I've never tried the NYX one, so I don't know how they compare to this. But I, honestly, I can't compare this to any other like drugstore one I'm thinking because... This is just the best, just the best damn drugstore eye pencil. If you guys try this, you know what I mean. If you haven't tried it, I promise you, $1.50 or 2 bucks at Ulta, it will be a game changer. It does not tug on your eye, lasts in the waterline, black as night. Um, what else? Um, doesn't irritate my eye, doesn't make my eyes tear. A lot, of, a lot of times when I wear like eyeliner in the waterline, my eyes tear sometimes, so I'm just like a hell no. Um, great to tight line with. I even use this to line my upper lash line. Oh my god, the best... The best line of 2018. I'm not, I'm not going to talk about it anymore. <laughs> okay. The next product that I want to talk to you guys about is an Essence product as well. This is also a definite hit from their line. This is the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. The best hands down mascara from the drugstore. I love a lot of other drugstore mascaras. Of course, you guys know that. But this is the best i've been using it for like two or three years now so it's not one that i discovered in 2018 um, but i've been using this to death i've gifted it to my mother she really loves it it's just some re regular basic natural bristled wand right it's a little bit long it doesn't have much of a shape to it but this makes my lashes look 
insanely huge and gorgeous and full and just like luscious so freaking good also i don't find that it flakes there's a lot of mascaras that i like that make my lashes look like bombs away but at the end of the night it's like flaky and gross this one i can keep it on even oh this is here this has been on for over i don't know 15 hours and i think it looks pretty pretty good you know so absolutely love this again 4.99 at ulta will last you a very long time does not dry out quickly this is pretty comparable to the ysl the shock mascara like that this is up there like if there would be a different brand name over here like dior or something i would believe that because it's amazing. I would even buy this for 20 bucks. That is how good it is. And usually with mascaras, I'm like, Ugh, you know, but uh, oh my goodness. I know a lot of you guys tried that, so you know, but if you haven't, I'm telling you, it is worth the $5. So amazing. The next thing that I want to talk to you guys about is a foundation that made for me in 2018. It's one that I did discover in 2018. I think it came out in 2018 and I repurchased, I think, three or four times. So you know that I'm in love. This is the Superstay Multi-Use Foundation Stick. It was in my empties video my 2018 makeup empties video i spoke about it there but this is just a newer one that i recently purchased it doesn't come with a ton of product in here that's my only complaint about this but it's still worth it for me to, to keep purchasing time and time because it's so gorgeous on this is one stick foundation that does not stick onto my dry patches not a pain in the ass to um blend out lasts the whole entire day does not diminish grossly on my face and gives me pretty full coverage i should say and is very very buildable usually with stick foundations i'm not about it because i do have drier skin so if i don't prep or if i just don't blend it out a certain way it can kind of be missing over here like the foundation or like half of my nose area is like gone you know with this it's super easy to blend out it's not a fuss to work with it's one two three style occasionally i will use this with an oil because i just enjoy doing that i like to use the kevin aquan oil which i've spoken to you guys about many times but even if i don't use it with an oil it still has like this kind of like very creamy consistency and not a dry feel to it so i feel like it just it's great for my skin and i know a lot of you guys purchased this because of me like you told me and i, I felt so like honored because i'm like right right it's amazing this is one foundation that i purchased more than three four times i never did that with any foundation ever i mean i repurchased foundations maybe once yeah maybe one time because i'm constantly using other things right but this three, four times, no joke, like literally. And, and that says a lot, you know? So love this so freaking much. If you hate stick foundations and you always have bad luck with them, give this one a go and let me know what you think. I think with a beauty blender, it works out better than with a brush, whoa. But overall, bomb. All right, then moving on to the last products that I wanted to talk to you guys about. These are lip products. So also with lip products, I've used a ton of lip products this past year and I'm like, which ones really stood the test of time? Which ones did I just keep in my purse that I enjoy, that I just constantly kept using, that were easy, like no fuss? Um, and I really came down to this. So I have it in my little jar over here. I took it off my shelves. The lip products that I'm talking about are from L'Oreal. These are the Color Riche Shine lipsticks. So you guys can see I have six different shades and I wanted to show you guys this one. This is my favorite one. It's in the shade 910 Shining Peach. Hopefully you guys can see there, right? I literally have like this much left, like nothing. And let me show you one that's pretty new. Like this one I don't tend to use too, too much. You see what I'm saying? So like this pink one, the Shining Peach one has been my go-to throw in the purse situation lip product just applies so nicely on the lips and looks so good and honestly that applies to all of them but this is just specifically my favorite shade from the packaging absolutely beautiful so aesthetically pleasing i love that there's like a window to these lip products you can totally see them like through the packaging you don't have to open every single one up right and then also on bottom the sticker kind of indicates what the color is if you don't want to look at the lid whatever i don't know okay anyway <laughs> These are so comfortable on. They're one that you would probably have to reapply, but they feel like a bomb. They have this jellyish consistency to them. They don't emphasize texture on the lips. They look beautiful literally with anything. It adds a nice shine to the lips as well, but has a nice amount of pigmentation too. I've worn these lip products at weddings, to special events, always got compliments on them, and everyone was always like, what are you wearing on your lips? It was these. So these really, honestly, I feel like were the top lip products for me for 2018, and that says a lot. You guys know how many lip products I test out. I just love, love them, you know, to get into my purse, you need to be, you need to be something like you need to be up there. You know what I mean? No one just gets that position to be in my purse, you know? So let me go ahead and give you guys swatches of these shades that I have. So you can see like maybe which one would work for you. This is the one that I told you guys that I love the easiest one for me to wear. It's in the shade 910 Shining Peach, a beautiful, more like pinkyish type of color. Really nice. This one right here is more of like a nudish peachy color, I should say. And this one right here is called 900 Glossy Fawn. Also very, very beautiful. Just something great for every single day. This one right here is called 906, which isn't my favorite, but it has more of like a 906, one second, burnished 
burn burnished blush um, it's not like my favorite one you guys know it's not my specific color or shade but I know a lot of people would like those kind of rosyish colors this one is also one of my favorites it's in the shade 902 dazzling doe if you're going for more of a grunger kind of look this is a perfect lip color for that I'm gonna try to find a picture and post it up here to show you guys um, how it looks like on the lips but this is so beautiful on like I'm telling you grungy 101 this one right here is called 924 enameled red um you guys know these are not my specific colors and this isn't my favorite from the line just because i feel like it can kind of go on your teeth just to be 100 percent honest with you but it's still really really beautiful if you want that shiny high gloss red color and you just like make sure it doesn't go on your teeth like it should look fine um and then this one right here is called gleaming plum 928 and this is also a really nice plummy color but not overly plum so it kind of just adds a little hint of like plum plumminess color to your lips you know but you guys can see really beautiful very creamy just like delicious feeling yeah, i don't know amazing amazing you guys have to try this i promise anyways that's pretty much it those were the eight standout products for me for 2018 in regards to drugstore absolutely love them i repurchased some of these products already so you guys know i'm obsessed um and yeah i just I, I'm really happy with these finds. I would absolutely love to know what products stood out to you in 2018. Of course, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. So that I could check them out for myself. I'm looking forward to reading your comments down below. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>